In this video, we learned how to solve a typical ID Math Studies exam question involving arithmetic sequences. Now, we're told that an arithmetic sequence has third term equal to 7 and ninth term equal to 25. And we're asked, first of all, to write down two equations in U1 and D to show this information. And we're asked to find the values of U1 and D. Now, to answer this first question, well, little a, what we really need to do is use the information that's given in the question as well as the formula for the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. Now, we're told that the third term is equal to 7. That allows us to say that u3 equals to 7. And we're also told that the ninth term equals to 25. That's ninth term equals to 25. So we can go right ahead and say u9 equals to 25. But now, the formula for the nth term, which is in the formula booklet, tells us that un equals to u1 plus n minus 1 times d. So in the case of u3 equals to 7, this first bit of information, that means that when n equals to 3, this formula for the nth term should equal to 7. So we can go ahead and say 7 should equal to u1 plus 3 minus 1 times d. That leads us to 7 equals to u1 plus 2d. And there we go. This is one equation involving u1 and d, which is what we're after. Now we turn to the second bit of information we were given in the question, u9 equals to 25. And again, using the formula for the nth term, this tells us that when n equals to 9, the term should equal to 25. So we go right ahead and say that 25 should equal to u1 plus 9 minus 1 times d. That's 25 equals to u1 plus 8d. And there we go, we have our second equation involving u1 and d. And that's the first question done. Now, for the second question, b, we're asked to find the values of u1 and d. Now, these are simultaneous equations. We have two equations with two unknowns. So we have two choices here. Either we use our graphical calculator and use either a simultaneous equation solver or the matrix calculations, depending on the calculators you have. But if you do it by hand, here's how we would do it. We know that the first equation is 7 equals to u1 plus 2d. So I'm going to use this equation and rearrange it to make u1 the subject. I can go right ahead here and say that 7 minus 2d equals to u1. In other words, I've moved the 2d to the other side of the equation. So this tells us that u1 equals to 7 minus 2d. I now have an expression for u1, and I'm going to plug this expression inside the second equation we had found. So let's do that. That's 25 equals to u1, which is 7 minus 2d, plus 8d. This in turn leads us to 25 equals to 7 plus 6d. And now subtracting 7 from each side, we find 25 minus 7 equals to 6d. And that's 18 equals to 6d. Now dividing each side by 6, that leads to 18 over 6 equals to d. And finally, that's 3 equals to d, or simply d equals to 3. And there we go. We now have our value for d. And now to find the value of u1, the first term, we just go back to this expression we had found here. And we're going to replace d by 3. So that would be u1 equals to 7 minus 2 times 3. That's u1 equals to 7 minus 6. Finally, that's u1 equals to 1. And there we go.